Okay, here we are back with our larynx. We're at the posterior view. We can see, let's see if this arytenoid will stay on here, but um, hold on one second. So we've got the hyoid bone, the thyroid cartilage in white. We've got the orange vocal folds, the blue cricoid cartilage, and the vocal folds extending from the back of the thyroid cartilage at the notch to the superior border of the posterior cricoid, and actually they, they go to the arytenoids, but just for the sake of making this model, I had to have a way to get them to stay there. So they're actually attached here onto these arytenoid cartilages in yellow, and the muscles that we're focusing on here are the black and yellow strands, which are known as the thyroarytenoid muscles, and they have two parts, as you can see here, that would be embedded inside the vocal folds. They would not be on the external part, but for the sake of this video to see the action, we put them on the outside. So the thyroarytenoid muscle is comprised of two main muscles, the thyromuscularis, also known as the thyroarytenoid externus, which was here in yellow, and the vocalis muscle, which is also known as the thyroarytenoid internus, which are black here. When contracted, the thyromuscularis muscle, which are their yellow strands, um, shorten and adduct at the same time. So really what, so if we, if it was pulled, the, the orange part would get shorter and a little closer together. And the vocalis, when it, when it's, um, when it is tightened, um, it's a glottal tensor, so the vocal ligament, ligament gets shorter and thicker, and in that way, the frequency of the, of the vocal folds um, vibration decreases, and therefore the, the pitch that's perceived decreases. So these are um, the, um, what's the word I'm trying to think of? Um, Well, they shorten and thicken the vocal folds. <laughs>